Hello everybody, welcome back. Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, still on the Excess Express. We're looking for Zip Toad and... Ooh, what could this be? This be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Or he probably, you know, tossed the paper in and ran out. Whatever. Let's hide. There you are, you little bastard! Zao, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, do I have to hit you with a hammer? Oh no, no, I just have to bump into you. Ouch! That didn't even hurt. Stop crying, you little punk. So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad. I see. All the while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm. Yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses. I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And the good people in this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. Ahem. Well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, fink. Blah. You got a briefcase, yeah! Happy briefcase with bunnies and everything like Yeah, I gotta go around and wait until I... Yeah, so here we go! X. Alright. Ah, my precious briefcase! Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Well, here. Here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you! Thank the stars, it's safe! Now I won't get the sack! Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Bing, bong, bing, bong. Attention to all passengers. The train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. But seriously though, what was Zip Toad, or the fake Zip Toad's motive for trying to blow up everybody in a sticky, yummy explosion? Who knows? Hey, at least he's been apprehended. Hey, I think not Slick. Wait a minute, Slick? Think you can hold me? No way. Bevan would flip if I let that happen. Twas dupless all along. This whole zip toe thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Bevan's plan to goofy Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Bevan. See you, suckers. Alas, you've been duped by dupless. That's what he does, that's what he does. He dupes peoples. He dupes peoples, and we fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. But hey, at least their plan to sort of hinder us has failed. So here you go. You found my gold ring. Yes. Alright. What are you gonna give me? 30 coins. And eh, not bad. Oh, great. I need to go all the way back into... No, you are not my horse. Well, I'm right here at the door anyway, so I guess I don't need him. I need to go all the way back and return the girl's earrings. I mean, why does she want to be reminded of her ex? Oh, well. Cannot open the door. All right. And what will you give me? A star piece! Alright. The nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. I think that's a compliment. I'm not entirely certain about that. Yay? Question mark? Alright then, well, nothing left to do but just get off here and uh, look at this here station. That is still one badass looking train. We got, you know, super cool. I want to drive it right now. The bug really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? Uh, I assume at a train yard, maybe? I don't know what we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. No! Curses! Progress has been hindered! 
but I saw a suspicious looking shouting person wearing a hat go into the station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room and flipped the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. <laughs> so, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? Yeah, sure thing, guy. Really? That would be super, Mario. Okay, oh, here's the station key. There you go, station key, woo. Oh, thank you so much. What do you have to say, fatty? Like fatty, fat, fatterson? Come there, breathing stale air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. Walking should not make you hungry. That's, that's kind of... Yeah, I'm at full health. Oh, dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. He was rather a slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all that belting business. Hmm. So it seems the Shadow Sirens have a line. A line? No, allied with Dupless. Precise station. We stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruised the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Alright. And technically speaking, this is the dungeon of this chapter. But we're still on day two of the Excess Express. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're going in. We're also getting Goombella out. Because we will be encountering enemies. Yeah, this is pretty much the only combat we're going to be seeing. Ooh, I want that badge, but we can't get it just yet. This old, abandoned station? Alright, so we got papers here. Oh, and yeah, if you're obsessive-compulsive, you can you know, just have Flurry do that. Serves no purpose, but hey. It's just there if you feel that the papers are cluttering up everything and you just want to have a nice-looking abandoned station. Cause yeah, I mean, who who wants their abandoned train stations to be dirty? Rolling down the street, sipping on gin and juice, laid back, mind my money, money is mine. Hitting that switch for a neat effect. Well, not as neat as the whole paper tear thing in Hooktail's Castle. That's that's probably my favorite little screen transition type of thing here. Alright, so now we're just climbing up the steps. I, I was not even prepared for that. Guy, are you a rough puff? I believe these are, in fact, rough puffs. The roughest of all puffs. Yes, rough puffs. We're telling on you this time. There's a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Though I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them. But anyway, Master Street is 7, attack is 4, defense is 0. It's too bad you are charged with something like Christy for unleashing lightning. Oh, if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and power bounce you to death because you have an item. There we go. <laughs> and now you are electric. There is actually nothing I can do about this unless I bring out Bobbery. So, um... Oh, I, I... Yeah, he's not equipped with hammer throw. Damn. Alright, well then, uh... Appeal! There we go, I dodged some damage. Alright, well then, Bobbery, do your thing, guy. Just so freaking overpowered. And that is how you defeat Rough Puffs. In retrospect, I didn't really need to switch to Bobbery, but whatever. Alright, so Gumbella, get back out here. Wow! Give me a minute to react! Please! I beg of you! Wow. One with the Thunder Rage and one with a Dizzy Dial. Okay, well, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and start attacking. Yeah. This attack is just so freaking cheap. God. Fail at drawing. So I will never do a draw in my life. Like, even in general, I mean, it's like every kind of. Like, every time I try to draw a car, it looks 
like a purse. My friends in my high school art class always make fun of me like that. Because, yeah, every, every car I drew looked like a hearse, but also, every creature I tried to draw, especially Vati from uh, Legend of Zelda Minished Cap, looked like a Yu-Gi-Oh character, according to them. So yeah, just a little random thing looked in my life, oh my god. Okay! This one, let me study these here patterns. Crap. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay. Are you about to do your double turn? I'm gonna wait for you to do your double turn and then I'll... I'll, I'll just not even jump. How about that? Man. No! Okay, um... Who knew that this would give me the most trouble? Simple platforming, in which I am too lazy to look for a pattern. No! We're getting cheap up in here. Screw it. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to do this the legit way then, man. Oh my god! This is what I get for being impatient. I can't help it. Freak. There we go. Okay, finally. Yes. So now we're doing some more platforming. This this is actually a really platforming centric area. Crap. All right. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now we're up here. Actually, no, I don't... No, I need coops for this. That's right. And yeah, we got a station key. And there is nothing else over here. So, now we can finally go back. Rolling down the street, doing all that other stuff. Sipping on an alcoholic beverage. Laid back with our mind on currency and currency on our mind. Still reciting that long past the point where it needed to be recited, but whatever. And I believe we will be encountering some new enemies. Oh, look at that sunset. We struck the pokey first. It was a fast moving pokey. Which is actually very rare to see in the Mario universe. Alright, so now we're going to tattle on the Poison Pokey. That's a Poison Pokey. As you probably guess, it's a Poisonous Pokey. Oh, wow. Okay. Attack speed is 4. Attack is... Well, attack speed is 8. Attack is 4. Equals 0. You can poison your HP with slowly drains, so you might want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over them, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. I mean, yeah, normally I wouldn't touch them, but I do happen to have a spike shield badge, so... Yeah. Screw your tattle log. I forgot that they are assholes like that, so we're gonna go ahead and um, end this quickly. Because I do not want to fight respawning enemies, so bomb on this. And there you go. Good style. Okay, I wonder, can I get a... 
I'm gonna try and get a preemptive strike with Bobbery. Those are those are actually like really, you know, weird to time unless you're um doing it when the enemies just don't know that he's there. Just like I just showed off. Hey, yeah, screw it, I got enough. Another bomb on this. Oh my god. Didn't think I was gonna make that one. That attack is just so cheap! It's amazing! Alright. Hold nothing, so yes, Thunder Rage. Yes, I'm grabbing Thunder Rage. Um, I don't need these normal life shrooms. I don't, I don't need them. Got a rough puff that just came out of nowhere, and because I'm lazy, Bobbery. I mean, this attack is just so freaking awesome. I love it. And we leveled up! What needs to be leveled up next? Holy crap, I kind of lost track. <coughs> okay, wait a minute. We started off with 10 HP, so... Get up to 35. So we start off with 3, currently at 18. Alright, so, HP is next. We now have the same amount of HP as Bobby. We're living large and in charge. A little. Somewhat. I guess. Shine Sprite. Yeah. So many enemies. And so much. Bomb Ominous. I don't care if this is eating my FP. This attack is just cheap. Holy crap, might I be able to level up again before the boss? Screw you, Pokey. Pokey. Alright, so now we're just doing Bomb Omnist again? That attack is just so wonderfully cheap! I love it! Alright. Some of the quickest random battles I've encountered yet. Now, if memory serves correctly, and it probably doesn't... I guess there isn't a hidden... thing here. Alright, I guess not. I was just remembering wrong. Alright, then. That way, man, I saw... Yep, okay. Oh, so that's where we need to blow. But first, I want that badge. I want that badge so bad. Like, you guys have no idea how badly I want that badge. A badge I will probably never equip, but hey, it's still a badge. I have no idea if I'm in the right area. Oh, here we go. This is what I do. I was about to actually just jump off the edge and try and, like, twisty jump in there. Hey, we're at HP plus! And now we need to blow away all these things. Slowly but surely, we are uncovering this door. And just because we can. No, I'm aiming for the bigger one. I'm aiming for the big one. Come on, come on. Be a pal. Be a pal! Alright, screw you. But yeah, we will go through this door and adventure onwards into Riverside Station next time. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This paper really let me down. I was trying to blow it away, but nope. Nope, it decided like, no, I'm going to stick here. Alright, whatever. Goodbye.